welcome back to HGTV Handmade. So today I have a DIY to fix a little annoyance in my apartment. And that annoyance is that my bedroom door does not stay open. I like to keep the door open during the day so there's more airflow throughout the apartment and so I can talk to my roommates or really good friends. So today we're going to DIY a doorstop. And if you don't need a doorstop, this could also be used as a bookend. Now, there are so many ways to make a doorstop, and you could literally use just like any heavy object. But I decided to make mine look like a stack of books. And the way I did that was by actually painting and gluing together a stack of books. I got these books at a thrift store for a dollar or two each, and I wanted to get books that looked pretty vintage-y. So I ended up with two fantasy books and a modern history of Ireland, which was printed in the 70s or 80s. So by the time I'm done with this project, these books will no longer be readable. So if you're a book purist who believes that no books should ever be destroyed, this might not be the video for you, but if you can stomach watching me put paint and glue all over the books, then watch on. So my first step was to paint the books white so they looked a little more uniform. To be honest, I probably should have used spray paint for this step rather than acrylic paint because it took a while for the acrylic paint to dry so I could paint the entire thing, but I got it done in the end. And I also painted the edges of the books so that they would be a more uniform white as well. So once that was dry, I I went ahead and opened up the books on top of some drinking glasses so I could paint the cover and the spine, and I decided to go with a metallic bronze paint. However, in order to save paint, I knew the order that I was going to be stacking up the books. So for the sides that would be facing each other that you wouldn't be able to see in the end, I only painted the edges. So I did that for all of the books, and I also opened them up and painted the inside a metallic bronze as well. So I let that dry overnight, and then I just went ahead and touched up some of the bronze paint on the covers. And now, it's time to glue. I just used some E6000 to glue the covers of the books closed, and then to glue all of the books together. So after that, I covered the entire thing with Mod Podge in order to really seal the entire thing up and give it a little more durability. Once the first coat was dry, I flipped it over so that I could put Mod Podge on the bottom as well, and I also put a second coat on the sides because I'm probably gonna be kicking it out of the way a lot, so I really wanted to be durable. And then for one more touch, I glued a few squares of felt to the bottom of the doorstop so that it's not gonna scratch up my floors. And that's it! Now I have a decorative stack of books that I can kick into place to keep my door open or kick out of place to let it close. And if I ever move again and don't need a doorstop anymore, this could also make a really nice bookend. So a little side note here, I really do like how it came out but I think it could have gone a little faster and maybe looked a little neater if I had glued all of the books together first as they were and gave the entire thing a coat of Mod Podge to give it a really good shiny coverage. And then just spray painted that all one color, maybe a gold or a silver or even just like a light gray or a bright white, really any color. Maybe I will try it again if I can wrangle up a few more books that I'm okay destroying, aka none of the books currently on my bookshelf. But let me know if any of you guys have ever done anything similar and how it came out. So I hope you guys liked this DIY. Let me know in the comments if you've ever DIY'd any interesting items to be a doorstop or a bookend. Please make sure to press like and subscribe and I will see you all again next week. Bye everyone!